Hi there, I'm David Howard, uh, and I'm the designer at the Chauvet Professional booth here at LDI 2025. I'm a line designer, working mostly in constant touring, as well as for things like trade shows and special projects as well. So the desk that's driving the show is the Campsys MQ500M+. That desk can handle 400 universes natively, and I'm using 249 of them to control all the fixtures here, all the epics, as well as control media master. So with the central box and the physical orb we have on top, we're running video content absolutely all over this stand to get some really unique and cohesive all-in-one looks. My name is James Fulton. I'm doing video for the booth. My background is mainly in video programming for architectural, along with a bit of live events and a significant amount of pixel mapping. Something that we found quite interesting is the ability to map every single fixture across the stand. That isn't only just the video wall and directly above it, but we wanted to have the ability to really expand this across every single fixture type and lean into their individual features. Now, this meant making a canvas that was massive. So really, we needed a desk that was capable of doing that. Unfortunately, Campus is something that has that processing power. I built this ring of fixtures that show off video. So we've got Campus controlling Media Master, which is pumping out video to the 160 epics that are dotted all over the stand, as well as the Strike V in both their beam layer and their pixel layer. What's really nice about this is, additional to these universes, I'm actually merging in an additional 160 universes over SACN on top of that to take content from the, for the epics uh, and for the beam washes and for the Strike V and overlay that over the top. So there's a lot of data flying around everywhere. My favorite part of the project was to learn a bit more about Media Master, along with the more powerful engine it's got now. It allowed us to have a pretty significant canvas size. It allowed us to spin the output into lots of different post-processing software. Being able to use that in combination with all of the pixel mapping made it a really interesting project. Uh, especially how it's got these parameters you typically wouldn't see in most servers. There's so much integration to the desk. The way that function types the MagicQ work is I have really quick access to that beam and those dot pixels so I can run maths-based campus effects while also driving media content over and layer them using an HTTP merge. That process sounds quite complicated, but in practice it's been really easy to do. It's meant I've been able to create some quite complicated looks in a really fast time. What's really powerful about that is you can switch between Camsys' more generative effects, which happen on a math-based basis over the individual cells, as opposed to the video, which is gonna be a little bit more granular, but nowhere near as defined. So you get a smooth output when you're talking about video mapping. You get more of a precise effect when you go over from a Camtis program. My favorite part of this process was seeing the light show for the first time. You work with visualizers for so long, but you don't really know what it's gonna look and feel like until you run it in the real world. Seeing that light show for the first time was really special.